Joe Rizzo here with the coach, Jeremy Jacobus. After our SG Selects have finished up the tournament in Hershey, it was it was pretty good up until pretty much the last seven minutes of the tournament. Then on this day, it fell apart. You needed a tie. It was a 0-0 game, and you end up after a major penalty, letting up two, and then an empty netter, you, you fall 3 nothing. And, well, I guess the good side for the Ranger fans is that you can go home and watch the Ranger game now, but the I don't think any of us really wanted to head there. And I don't think any of us thought we were heading there. I didn't want to do it. And I got to tell you, um, you know, as far as the tournament went, girls played really good through the whole tournament. We had a little bit of a flat game in the first game, but I got to tell you, they really raised their effort aggressiveness, physical, they were doing all of they were playing the right way, we were back checking, doing all that stuff, uh, game two, game three, right into this game here, everything was really good until we got that five minute major in the third period, this is our four minute major actually, but uh, yeah, close game, great game, grinder here at the end, and everything it was going to take to get into the championship round, um, the hand to that team too, they came really hard, and we knew what kind of game we were going to get to get into that, that championship round, and uh, just didn't work out for us here today. The girls should hold their head high, though. I told them that because they played really strong. It's interesting. The first game that you played against this team was a 4-4 game. This game, which I didn't get to see, actually, this game was so tight defensively. Mm -hmm. Like, that, I was surprised. I'm like, wow, we scored four against this team the last time? I mean, we couldn't seem to get any shots through, through on them. And, you know, there was some sustained possessions, but not a lot of good quality scoring chances even there. Did they tighten it up? Did they change their game plan against you for this game as well? They did. I mean, I think the first game that we played them, we scored the first goal, which put them on their heels a little bit. We had a couple of really good sustained shifts down in their zone, and they were allowing us to break out real easy. Um, and we as a group, we played incredible team defense this weekend. Not just the defense, team defense. We stayed in our structure. We gave them the outside and the perimeter, and, and they couldn't get, get anything done. Today, much tighter much tighter so you weren't going to see that 4-4 stuff although it was a tie 0-0 just like you said not a lot of he heavy opportunities out there uh, a lot of grinding on the boards dead pucks that kind of stuff so really good game um, somebody's got to win at the end right that's just how it worked out for us today uh, what did you say to the girls in the locker room? Now, this is a, a different group, right? It's, mm -hmm. You're used to having your, your Rockets girls. It's made mostly up of Rocket girls, but you have a, some, uh, you know, some other girls that, that have integrated in and some who have played with this group before, others who are practicing with you and now you know, getting some game action here for, for the first few times. What, what do you say to a group like that in the locker room after you go through a tournament like this, you can see some of the bonding, and then you end up you know, coming up a little bit short? You know... I expected to go into the locker room after the game and see girls crying and upset and, you know, how it happens sometimes, but not today. We went in there, girls were okay, I think because they knew. They had played hard, they had played even, they had played a good tournament, and some things that happened out of our control, that's what happened here today. Everything else that we could control, I, we took care of, and I told them that, and then to hold their head high. and. I really don't think I had to, you know, explain it any differently to them. They, they, they already felt good. They looked like they were good leaving the locker room, too, because they know what they did. If When you don't play well and you don't put the effort, they know that, too, and then they hang their heads low. But when they, when they play like this and they're very competitive and something happens out of our control, I think they f left the locker room feeling pretty good today. Okay. What, uh, what, what do we leave here with? What do we... Um, think about, you know, for, for this group, you're going to have uh, probably a few more games coming up here and there. Maybe, you know, maybe there's another tournament in the books. I don't know. But, um, you know, we've talked about it in some of our other videos. Like, what are, you, what are you trying to give as a coach when teams are playing spring hockey as opposed to the difference in, in you know, the fall winter season? Like, what's, what's, the, what's the difference there? First of all, I think the big difference is pressure. It's spring hockey. There isn't any pressure, right? I mean, we go to tournaments and we want to, we go to these tournaments because we want to win the tournament. That's why we come, right? But, but all in all, I think it's a chance for other girls to come in. Our girls get to mingle with them. Different relationships happen, and but we're able to stay on the ice and keep sharp and and keep kind of rolling. Now, for the girls that are with us all the time in the fall, this is just practice, right? And this is good practice because. You're away from your regular stuff, and you 
you're working with different girls. So, so for me, I think that it's a, a chance to stay on the ice, a chance to stay in the bond with team, and to get to know some other girls. And, and it's all a positive experience, right? And I think the pressure is a little bit less in the spring, which is a good thing. And then sometimes you're forged with the opportunity where you're playing against a great player like Reagan Mickletree, who you know we've talked about during the last game. If you didn't watch it, we talked about her a lot. And that might not be typical of many of the opponents that, that you're playing against, but here, you know, you, you get to do that, and, and the girls can see how they stack up against a Division One level collegiate player. And like you said, maybe the lesson from this weekend is, hey, team defense works. It works against you know high the highest level players that they're going to play against. Um, so if they apply those lessons, right? If they could take what they what they learned here, uh, they can they can bring that and even play better team defense when the competition's maybe not as high. I think that's very accurate, and um, she's a really good player. I mean, you could see that out there. Um, I do think we kept her in check for most of the game. She had a couple shots. No big deal. I think most of those shots were outside the dots. We did not give her the front door. So, like I said, I'm really proud of my group. I, I, I feel good. I, of course, I want to win this game. I want to get to the next round, but we played hard. It's a, that really was one or two goal game. Without that major, we're in overtime with that team. No, no, actually, it would have just been a tie. It would have no been a tie overtime. if there was no overtime. We go to the next round. Right? Yeah, that, that that's how it would have been. So that's how close the game was. And you know what? When we pulled the goalie, three minutes left. It took a while for them to get the puck out of the zone. We had good zone time there, and uh, I almost felt like we were going to get it done right there. But uh, like I said, it just didn't work out for us today. And I think the girls leave here feeling good. Get right back at it on Tuesday. I think we have a game next weekend at the Rock for the 19 U's. And uh, probably end this spring season on a high note. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, if you like what you see, you like these interviews, you like the live streams, you like the uploaded games, whatever it is, hit the subscribe button and the alerts button, and every time we post something, you'll uh, you get the little flag come up and you'll know that it's time to check it out. Yeah. So, for the coach, Jeremy Jacobus, I'm Joe Rizzo. Thanks for watching RSG Selects Girls Hockey.